I love nothing more in RimWorld than spending two to three hours before every series starts customizing every ideology, every faction, the backstories, their apparel, everything, basically. Only to then hit a certain wealth threshold and be beset by mechanoid after mechanoid after mechanoid. So I'm gonna pay you 15 doubloons to fuck right off. What a hero! What a guy! The only pirate captain that simply just tried to pay the mechanoids to leave. I get the feeling we're not going to see any more mechanoids anytime soon. <laughs> I've removed them from the game. Oh, this will probably have unintended consequences. Oh, we need to have a little chat about things because some people were not a big fan of the idea of having the treasury next to the ocean. Firstly, they're fucking pirates, so I feel like I don't have to justify this. This isn't going to be the vault. This isn't going to be the treasure vault. This is just the... This is the the, 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 the pirate uh, celebration ritual room, whatever you want to call it. This is the great meeting of the pirate council. And that's what this is. This is a pirate council chamber. This is where they have the pirate meetings. They discuss the loot. They discuss the situation with the ships and the oceans. And they, t uh, you know, just openly discuss things. You know, ask each other how they are. Make sure everyone's doing okay. The vault, though. Oh, where on earth are we going to put the vault, eh? That already makes you think. I mean, I like the idea of putting it on this on this spit of land here, but I don't think it quite works. I, somebody said put it right in the middle of the island, and I think maybe where the farms are now kind of seems like optimal vault positioning. Somebody made a very good counterpoint to me saying pirates wouldn't want to waste silver on the floor. Pirate would want to die above treasure. See, oh, well, the, I mean, the other problem is some of its bridges. Uh, am I about to use those watery, pumpy things to make this more stable? I think I'm probably going to have to, aren't I? What's a sea foam sprayer? Oh, it's a fire foam popper. Oh, my God. I've never been more tempted to use it than calling it something like that. All it takes. That's all it takes. You just got to sell it. So, fire foam poppers have a marketing issue. That issue is I do not want to pay 75 steel and one component for... Uh, a temporary thing. That's just not how I do things here. We'll put it in the bar. The bar's very important. We've got to make sure that doesn't burn down. Um, let's put it right in the center. Maybe one in the stockpile, but only because they've given it such a nautical name. Have I made this up? Is this not a real thing? The thing you put on the... Th the you put it on the ground, it sucks the water up out of the ground and makes it solid ground. You know what I'm talking about. Is this not a real thing? Producing? Apparently, something exists in the game called a moisture pump. I'll let you know if and when I ever find it. What the hell would it be called in pirate speak, huh? Baylor bucket. Oh, that's so good because it gets rid of the moisture. That was very clever. Forget about multi analyzers a minute. Oh, hello. Where did you come from, you horrific monster? I was about to say, surely, yeah, we can build the prototype at this point. Oh, we got to spend gold on it. Well, that's off the menu. This is as far as we go with game progression. To be fair, we did waste a tremendous amount of treasure on these reliquaries. Oh, hello. I think there might have been a style added to the reliquaries. Hold on a second. Oh. <gasps> Oh, treasures of the ocean depths. Oh, that looks good. That really is night and day with that other reliquary, isn't it? My God. Just need a little bit of treasure, okay? We don't need a huge amount. The bucko would never make a deal with the devil either. The devil's bargain, it's off the table. Even though we could regrow some limbs and stuff like that with it. No, no, no. Bucko's the captain here, not the devil. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> if I do the bees quietly in the background and don't make a big deal about it until we eventually get bees that can make gold, is that... Is that... Gold fish? Fish made of gold? Well, forget the bees. Just do the bees quietly in my own time, okay? There will be no big deal. This is not going to be Bioko drink or anything like that. This episode is not going to end up on YouTube called Mr. Cringe is Obsessed with Bees. That would never happen. This isn't even me setting up for a joke. I think if I named an episode that I'd have more unsubscribers than ever before. The worst part is our best beekeeper is in fact Master Cringe. Crafting, cooking, and thinking, which is good at two of those. Not so good on the thinking front, or the moving front, or the manipulation front, or anything, really. That was until right at this moment. With that, we can queue up fabricating. Actually using this lovely little bar out here. Right in front of the Bucko Center of Pirate Culture. That's what we're calling it. What a lovely crew. I assume they're all friends. Are they all friends where it turns out they hate each other? No, they're all doing pretty well, actually. Bucko likes Sire Yeti Felcher, Tide Bubble, Armbjörnberg, and pretty much everybody. Doesn't really like Salty Panty. Uh, Sire likes everyone. Cringe likes everybody, and everybody likes Cringe. Not many people like his wife. Everybody's just kind of neutral with his wife. Some are friends. Uh, people like Tide Bubble as well. God damn. 
Everybody likes Arn Bjornberg. Salty is a bit of a mixed bag. Some people don't like him, some people do. I'm not sure why that's the case. Oh. Oh, God. Rivals with Admiral Bucko. Oh, Bucko and the chef do not get on. There's a respect, I'm sure. They just don't really get on. Catfish Chef is friends with everyone, and Yeti is uh, Yeti is not. Oh, dear. Um, just like Morph type. Oh, God. Because Yeti changed ideology, right? So you're now a different... Prefer morph, morph types are pigskin. How bizarre. Oh, we can't do it yet because they're having the party at the bar. Second it's done. I think a conversion ritual for Yeti. Yeti who apparently hates half the crew because they're not pig people. Right, you little fucking racist cat prick. Get convert. Oh, Jesus. 56%. Is that all? Well, that's probably the best we can do. Master Cringe's social impact. Oh, it's cutting us down quite a lot. Oh, well. Master Cringe described mankind's history. Badly. He has tremendous brain damage. <laughs> That's his fucking hat. Oh, I wonder if it's tattered and now he's taking it off. Oh, boo. Okay, we're gonna have to get Master Cringe a new hat in that case. Get him. Ooh, 96 to 66. Okay, not bad. Gee, why am I saying not bad? Hey, fuck you, Yeti. Stand still. Get arrested, you big idiot. This is Yeti's last chance. If he mutinies again, executed. I'm sorry, he's, he's exceptionally useful. One of our best colonists, no doubt. There's a limit. There's a limit, and Yeti is close to finding it. All the other pirate captains are laughing at Bucko. Holy shit, we've got enough. Fusion fuel processor. No, it seems like quite a big jump very suddenly. I'm not mistaken, you stick these in shallow water, and then you put it on the same power grid, and you can sell fuel to people. And both of those contribute to the fabrication research, because we haven't got anything else to reverse engineer, really. Except for a shitload of uh, beeswax. I, that, that's that's my that's my personal thing. You don't get to you don't get to be involved in that. My God, at long last, there it is, fabricating. If I've been solely so obsessed with this, well, every single person in this colony, uh, minus Sire apparently, has some sort of limb they could probably do with being replacing. Every single oh, and Catfish Chef. But to be fair, Catfish Chef doesn't get into combat, especially Yeti. Yeti's the one I'm getting at. You know how much shit I have built with a builder. Who has 17 building and one arm. I have to build another room here somewhere for producing. So I suppose we'll put a little expansion on here and use this as some sort of production room. Also got a bit of an expansion going on over here for something that I think is very on brand for a pirate colony that I have been absolutely sleeping on. And that, my friends, is a lovely pirate gambling hall. I mean, I don't think pirates would call it a casino. We've got Rim and Reels, Rim and Moolah, and... Room of Fortune, oh dear. It's gonna be the pirate games room. This is gonna be the rough area of town, okay? Am I intentionally building a pirate ghetto? Absolutely I am. Everywhere could be a treasure-filled paradise on a pirate island. Somebody has to be at the bottom if the captain's on the top, right? This isn't this isn't equality. And on the subject to that, somebody did say, uh, please use the shiny gold coin floor to line the ideology room. Obviously, we'll do it for the treasure room when we get to that point. The only problem with that is it's 20 treasure per floor tile. So to fill out the entire ideology room would be 7,300 gold. <laughs> Just don't think I could possibly breed that many bees. Oh, and as a nice celebration for getting those limbs, we get to queue up a few more. It's cosmic horrors. It's not really what I wanted. I, I wanted people. You know, like people to turn up as raiders so that we could... Oh, well, this is fine. Horrors from the deep. That's okay. That's manageable. Hello. Or horrors from the sky in this case. What What? what have we got? Oh. Oh. Well, those are quick. My God, they are so quick. Yeti, just dive into the nearest house there, pal. Just dive into the nearest house. Um, wow. Okay, I, uh, maybe maybe time now that we've got fabrication to start looking into turrets. Maybe some turrets. Oh, Master Cringe. I mean, give it a go. Give it a go. Let's try and control the ones in melee so at least we can do something at range. If we can just get our range characters back slightly. Where's Arm Bjornberg? What's taking so long, old man? A brain damage man versus unthinkable cosmic horror. I didn't even want to know what that explosion was. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have got this under control. We have absolutely got this under control, squad. Finish that one off. Is that one already dead? Sorry, I was paying too much attention to Mr. Cringe, but I think, you know, realistically so. Baby is in the house. Safe. <laughs> Maybe not that safe. <laughs> Bung water. I need you to walk away. What is it doing? Oh, smashing the bench. I genuinely thought it was trying to break into the building to eat baby bung water, but no, it is just going for the, it's just going for the bench, which isn't really super relevant. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Bucko would be heartbroken. I mean, forget about Yeti. What have we got? We've got one rampaging in the marketplace. We've got another attacking cavalry spikes. Some investment they were. All the things to run at and chomp at with your big space vampire teeth. That strikes me as maybe the worst choice. 
She's gonna get it. Okay, can you... I think Bucko can't do anything in this fight. Not even close. I'm just gonna send Bucko away. Because I think... Did you seriously just take that one away from the one who could actually kill it, moron? I think that Bucko is probably just going to... Get someone killed. Get someone killed. Do not fire at point blank range, you moron. And everyone else can just lay into this one. Okay. Okay, that didn't go too badly to say that we were very unprepared. Did you just shoot Butch? Oh, no, it's fine. It was just the Star Vampire. <laughs> Thought we were going to be absolutely annihilated by that. We got one more. <gasps> Chef, Shol Chef, Sh Chef Schulte. <laughs> Chef Schulte, not you. They're not really... Are you seriously just lighting fire to my flowers? They're not really doing anything impactful. They're just kind of running around the city causing a little bit of vandalism here and there. They're on the same level as, like, the idiot pirates. Thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Okay, there you go. Problem solved, really. Do they still give that massive negative debuff for, for seeing them? I guess not. I guess that's been taken away. I remember when... Uh, maybe maybe some of the other Cosmic Horrors do it. They used to give, like, a minus 80 mood just for seeing them. Take Devil's Bargain. We'll drop on Luciferium. No, no, no. We don't need the Luciferium. Thank you. Uh, let's get someone maybe tending to Salty. Appreciate that, Salty. You really you were really were a great help there. We need a panic room. I mean, you can pick any building on the map, really, but like the vault, maybe a, a separate annex for the crew. Because what's more valuable to Bucko than treasure and gold? Sweet baby bong water. Bucko who stepped up and raised that child from quite literally the age of baby to the age of maybe like six. You remember they went on that pirate journey together and the baby came back fully grown, which is very bizarre. Not quite sure how it happened. I say fully grown like it grew into a child. Learn my lesson, okay? Floating turrets are a very piratey. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, um, are, a, are a very uh, piratey solution to my anti-turret mindset. Swivel guns. Okay, fair enough. Black powder, refining flintlocks, and gunsmithing. That's cut out a lot of work for Sweet Butch. You're going to be there for hours, my friend. I suppose we might as well get what we can replaced with this hospital floor, right? Actually, it's the steel we're missing, not the silver. This has got a job for Mister. Cringe. Oh. What's left of Mr. Cringe? Can I hear fire? Is that just me? What is that? <gasps> me bench! How did that even happen? Wait, is one still alive? What the fuck? No, I don't think so. How odd. We really do need a colony doctor, don't we? Because Bucko is... Doesn't exactly have a good track record. Put that on the list, god damn you. Number five. Oh, no, I don't need to do that. Wait, wait, wait. Colony doctor. There you go. To be honest, maybe we shuffle that. Oh, we don't need fabricate anymore. Maybe we shuffle that one right to the top. Maybe just pop that one up there for me. Thank you. To be fair... Maybe that's what Tide Bubble starts to do. It's got the same skill as Bucko. Oh, no, Bucko's just gone up to Doctor Ring of Eight. But Tide Maker, Tide Bubble, Tide whatever their name is, has a passion in it at the very least. Oh, Bucko, no, 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 no. I mean, he's fine, right? Yeah, it's the extreme loss of blood, but he is actually tended. Free of infections is another thing entirely. Fine, we're all fine here. I'm going to send Bucko off to go buy some steel and bring back a little bit of plunder as well. We've got to replace that floor. A captain is only as strong as his crew, and his crew right now is... <laughs> scraping the barrel. After that impressive display where he pummeled a very terrifying space alien tentacle creature with his crossbow, I've decided to finally name the man. And previously known as Anbjorn Sun is now Yeetmore Jones. <laughs> he do yeet, all right. He sure do. Hmm. Hang on a second. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Hear me out. Bucko has just paid a significant price from these people for something that reminds him of the good old days. Back when he was Space Pirate Captain Samurai Bucko drink. Like a special helmet. It's just a generic helmet. You get these made all over the place, okay? Mass-produced crap. For Bucko, that was something special, okay? It was something special, and he hasn't bought it for himself. This helmet isn't for Bucko. It's not for Mr. Cringe. It's not even for his beloved wife. That's right, my friends. This is a gift for sweet baby bong water. A long-term investment for Bucko. I think that's very kind of, uh, of, of Admiral Bucko, okay? That's, uh, that's very generous of a pirate to give some of his treasure away. It's a long-term investment. It's meant to inspire little baby Romy Bong Water to be the best pirate they can possibly be. And that, of course, means more profits. Maybe Bucko does have a soft side. That's up for you to decide. That's up for you to decide and to interpret from his actions. There we are, powerful. At long last, the most state-of-the-art hospital we can possibly build. Problem is to throw down the, uh, the, 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 the watery pumps, whatever the hell they're called. I think we need to dig up the floors first, right? Well, we could always give it a go, see what happens. Might just want to leave it how it is, especially because the next thing I plan on doing, again, very, very long overdue here. Let's throw down that fabrication bench if I can find out what it's fucking called. This is going to drive me insane. I'm never doing this again. 
<laughs> no more renames. Got to go out and buy even more steel, right? But, or we could go out and steal some steel, which actually might be a much more piratey approach to this. Uh, I wanted to test it. I wanted to see if the treasure chests were still bogged out and not providing us with any treasure. Because I think I might have pirate fixed it. What's the difference between pirate fixing things and just regular fixing things? Well, pirate fixing things takes a week later because you were pissed drunk. <gasps> Oh, good God. Pointed ears fruit. We're not going to be eating that one. <laughs> Weighted fur gold elder. Oh. Oh, my God. How can it be made of... Are you telling me it's, it's, it's uh, earrings made of gold eltex lined with fur? That's fucking disgusting. Sounds perfect for master... Actually, it does sound very piratey. Seems like a type of piratey accessory. So now we've got a choice. Do we open the treasure boxes? Which are worth 300 each. So do contribute to colony wealth. And it will make the room more impressive. Or do we crack open a common with the boys? Ooh. Titan thread. Which is pirate speak for hyperweave. A little more plunder. A little more jewels. Oh, no. I have to do my piratey duty and crack open all the treasure. We, we have to do it. We played the long game and it paid off. What the fuck is that? <gasps> Servers for us to commit piracy with. <laughs> That's genuinely why this one is in the pack. Oh my god. Piracy the whole way down. Holy shit, look at that thing. Devil fruit for water skip. Pig nose fruit. I'm going to be eating that one. No, thank you. We're all right. Uh, we've got another devil fruit. A small one this time. Attractive fruit. Ooh. It says a mystery there. Uh, but clearly it says attractive fruit there. That's a classic Dexter Feldo mod, if you ask me. And then uh, lovely art, though. And then uh, two advanced components. Come on. Come on. Ooh, hello. Devil fruit word of love. I still want to find bucko drink a fruit worthy of bucko. You know, I still want to find something. that. I mean, that's nice. A cannon barrel is very piratey. Honestly, I'd say everything that came out of these treasure boxes had some sort of piratey uh, relation. Other than, other than this one, right? Other than the fancy gadgetry. This one had tacky jewelry, jewels, and, and, and devil fruits. This one had a server to commit piracy. We've got that phonograph, which is lovely. I'm going to store that somewhere. What happened to all the other? We had like a hundred common chests. Oh, we've still got a hundred common chests. Jesus, they're there. I put them in storage. What about these other small golden chests? Under the altar? It's a bloody blueprint. Oh, right. I understand. Go on, Bucko. Full send. I think we're making a profit from this anyway. So why not? Let's crack them open. We've got super clotting. Oh, and another piracy server. I like that. There's apparently another golden chest here somewhere. Oh, well, this is nice. I feel like this is finally paying off after a um, someone's trying to sell Bucko's treasure chest. What the fuck are you doing? Shut this market down. Oh, Sire's right there working in the hospital. Me wife. Come and look. It's a pirate miracle. Oh. <gasps> Red fruit. No, thank you. All right. I feel like wasting the one-off, uh, you can only consume one devil fruit and getting red skin doesn't really seem to help very much. Looking for something quite explosive. Now, the real question is, what the hell do these contain then, huh? Should we have a peek? Because we've got a lot of those. I worry this might be a little bit overpowered. But this was the quest we did, like, day one. Jewels and pieces of eight. That's not too bad. The pieces of eight are quite literally just ingots of silver. They don't do anything. Yes. He's gone pirate mad. We got some uranium. Oh, it's like a small amount of resources. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh, my God. Some of the boxes are spawning more boxes. It's also spawning an incredible amount of frightening screaming noises. There's so much cool shit for Bucko's Vault. Though. There's one more right there. Oh, then we got a couple more in here, too. This is so much cool shit for Bucko's Vault. Bone armor statue. Bone dread figurehead. Oh, sick. That's cool. We got fancy self. And look. Large common chest. We're getting like boxes inside boxes. Solar pinhole? Fat body. Timber rafter. That's not the fruit. Uh, beardless fruit. Get rid of that. <laughs> That's like that. A hideous fruit. That's like the like, least pirate fruit possible. Let's have a look then. Finally, we've got our uh, beast walk all. That one's kind of fun. And I think that's another fruit in the stockpile there. Uh, what's that one? Raw voice. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed cracking open all those treasure chests. Oh, there's another one. Oh, fuck me. It never ends. Okay, that's enough now. That's enough. I've had enough of cracking open all the all the very high libido. Oh, some of it went straight into this box, I see. Lots of jewelry and paintings and other stuff to deal with. Heavy wax agony zen. That's got to be a pain stopper, right? Bees exposed to the elements. You telling me that one of those boxes was filled with bees? Finally, the screaming can stop. We have gun turrets or apparently swivel guns. Or apparently... Swivel guns. Oh, 
Oh, Sweevil guns. Oh, oh, I love Sweevil guns. Mm. Not sure why they're called that. I don't make the rules. We have a service right there. Do you see that? Whoa, send me back. Service. Assemble advanced service. Basic service we can just like go for then, eh? Oh, shit. Of oh, the machining table. Oh, we've been able to do this for bloody ages. Oh, voice my Sweevil gun. Oh, it's Sweevil on the shoot. It's 5 a.m. No, it's not. It's fucking 8 a.m. I haven't slept. Okay. You're getting the, sh you're getting the Shreveal gun? Okay. And you're going to enjoy it. The best you've got today. <laughs> this is the best you have. Much like Bucko, we are scraping the barrel. Are we loaded? What's going on here? Are we ready to go? What ship did I load up? Ah, oh, the flying, the flying fuck is um Bucko's flagship, by the way. Don't know if I mentioned that. Now since they're like the piss bastard. Oh, maybe the piss bastard too could be his. But we got the muck frill. Uh, the muck frill, I'm not sure who it belongs to either. I have already thought this story. It doesn't matter. Every pirate needs more ships than he could possibly use. You know, every pirate needs a good, a good, big, strong, powerful fleet. Really, I should send two people because every time I go, we haven't got enough for the steel. So let's send because their cargo capacity isn't enormous. So let's do that. Let's send out the boys. Uh, like go. We are here at Cat's butt. We're here to extract. <laughs> Wait for it. We're here to extract a toll. <laughs> Hand it over. Bucko's feline like some treasure. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, well, I didn't expect that much from a bunch of cat boys. Thank you. Appreciate that. There are other people there too. But there's only one cat boy there. <laughs> it's like Mesa's Island. Mesa was there first. Mesa built the city. It's what we called it Cat's Butt. I mean, it was originally called what? Like Island Butt or whatever. Pandora's Box. Yeah, you know what? Throw it in. Why not? <gasps> Jules Mystic Oracle. It's it's the thing that we failed in installing before. Oh my god, a second chance. What's the Mystic Catalyst? What is that? The Psychic Sensitivity. Get one of those two. Advanced Peg Arm. We need one of those two. Ship's Cat. How can I not buy a Ship's Cat? I, I split the ships up to make it a bit more a bit more viable to visit some different ports here. Yeah, let's take... um. Oh god, it's so heavy. <laughs> it's so bloody heavy. Low sleep, immune, robust, happy. Those are all pretty nice. Uh, they've got they've got chests. Uh, we could take the gamble. It's probably not worth what we're paying for it though. Long water. Oh my god, are you coming out? Okay, I'm really been paying too much attention to it. One skill to increase your passion for. Oh god, building or healing. Well, Bongwater's dad, Yeti, is a very good builder, so maybe maybe the skills are passing down. We do need a good healer though. What have we got here? Uh, harsh, insatiable. I'm not ready now. And Aelin, awful immune system, but it also gives plus four healing though. She becomes sick much more frequently, but gets a lot of experience from that. Naturist makes them nude. And no, I'm not reading that one either. You know what? I'm going to take that. I think it's weird. It's a weird, kind of nice combination for a backstory. There's learning desk in this as well. If we say train uh, medicine, we've been looking for healing now. Been conditioned by the bloody pirate speak. We say, tiny child, don't do anything but learning at the desk. And then when you're not learning at the desk, you'll have your teacher come over and, and teach you whatever. That seems good, because then we get the combination of the growth moments, and we should... I mean, sure, we could have them, what, hauling? That's no bloody use. Ooh, and that reminds me, it's his birthday in three days. Bucko wants to arrange Mr. Cringe a very special birthday gift. Probably should have done this sooner. Uh, we would like to, for my good friend Mr. Cringe, buy him the greatest gift of all. Uh, Bucko feels terrible. Bucko feels terrible, uh, mainly for the crew, right? Because, of course, Mr. Cringe was our negotiator. He was our tradesman. Mr. Cringe being brain damage is lowering the amount of treasure that everybody gets. And, of course, he mangled his friend mid-surgery. So, Bucko is happy in this situation because he knows it'll pay for itself eventually. He, you know, uh, Cringe can go out there and earn this silver back. We're going to try and find some sort of... What, what do you call it? Heal Mech Serum? Ah, oh, fuck me. What is it called, then? Let's see if we can find it by its icon. Stone of the Philosopher. Very good. <laughs> How much are we willing to pay for that? 4,000 large. 4,000 large. That seems that seems bloody generous, huh? 2.3 days. And what's the going value on those? 1,300. I've just been ripped off. But you know what? It's for his birthday. You can hear Red Demon in the future typing this comment. I'm well aware we'll need five of them. I know. 8,078 hours, by the way. Believable. I know. I know how. I can count to five. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh dear. <laughs> no respect for cats. This is why you've got to introduce them slowly, otherwise you end up in situations like this. Look at this fucking bartender we've got though, huh? Amazing. Couldn't be any more on brand. I had to send Bucko out again because we ran out of components, but we're using it to build a fabrication bench, so in theory, it won't happen again. 
We'll just run out of steel instead. We were minus 10 with these people at one point from the pollution dumping I did. We're all the way up to 64 from nothing but trading. It's how pirates survive. You go, you steal, you sell what you don't want, and then you go back and steal the stuff that you sold them. The circular economy where the rich get richer. Ha. Ah. Welcome to YouTube. That might be the lowest, highest tech, roughest looking fabrication room you're ever going to see. No expenses spared. <laughs> we got a single oil lens. In. <laughs> I mean, the sad part is we don't even need the fabrication. Hello? Uh, sir, the hospital's not open right now. We don't even need the fabrication bench because the thing I needed for Yeti, we just happened to find what we were trading to get all the stuff for the fabrication bench. Did that just say numb? Oh, oh, it's anesthetic. For Yeti Felcher, one advanced pegging arm. For Master Cringe himself. Uh, honestly, I would love to give him the... Uh, apparently, we've got a pain stopper there somewhere. Um, I, I'd like to give him the Mystic Oracle in his brain again. It's another gamble, but on the plus side, it's going to be Tide Bubble doing it, not Bucko. Far less drunk, far more balanced. Where are you? No, 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 no. Go and lie down in the hospital. Stop that shit. Hello, Algernon. Were you just here to admire my flowers? We were just having a meeting. Our this is a hospital! Get out! Stop traipsing dirt in here. Oh, you know what? We need to craft a lot of stuff. Maybe that fabrication bench will come in handy because you are a mess, Butch. You are an absolute mess. Is anybody missing anything? No, it's only Yessi. If we've got a spare leg, I'll I'll give it to uh, Butch. Given she's a melee character, she needs to move pretty fast. 19 regular medicine. To be fair, we've got so much glitter wall medicine from opening all those boxes. We could probably afford to swap over, at least for the surgery. Let's go ahead and do that. It's a, it's a temporary thing. I'll remember to change it back, I'm sure. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Level 8 healing, that's what we like to see, because now you've got actual brain surgery coming up. Oh, butch first, butch first, that's good. Get a little bit more practice in, you know? Don't, don't, don't jump in if you're not ready. Salty's given up. What the fuck? Well, because you haven't been sailing in more than 20 days. I've been putting people on the ships and sending them out occasionally. Um, right, that's really annoying. Could you chase down the chef? You don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't. Come back with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Salty. <gasps> what? What? Look! That must be how the other whale got on land! It's it's a it's a pet, it's a tamed pet. Wait, but how does it how's it on land though? Oh mystery solved. I mean clearly it can move on land, it's just in hideous, hideous amounts of pain. Like, are you okay? Oh, this is horrible to watch. <laughs> Tepaneka has act accepted your warrant on the stone of the philosopher actively completing it. A birthday present for Mr. It's his birthday today! Oh! This is actually just horrible. Should we put it out of its misery? I mean, I know it said it wasn't as intelligent as its, um, as its unmodified cousins, but this is, uh, this is just horrible to watch. Speaking of things that are horrible to watch, here we go. The surgery on Master Cringe. If you fail this again, it might just kill him. Ha ha ha! Yikes, that was horrible. That was horrible, but you know what? That's okay. That's going to help undo a lot of the damage that was done by the... He's not going to be very good at his day-to-day -day life, okay? He's not very good at thinking hard, unless what he's thinking about is trading. And that's all he really should be thinking about. On new character arc, hold on. What if we just make him sexy, Mr. Cringe? Install a beauty weaver in the torso. That's the, um... I can't remember what they're called. Torso shaper, I think. And then we also want the... Do we not also get the, 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 the fancy nose? We've got the galley master's nose. We'll give it to the chef when she's back with us. Oh, I mean, this could make up for the fact that he's brain dead. We just make him beautiful. I'm just noticing that those uh, that those those star vampires we fought also went for the head. Poor cringe. People just want to take it right off his shoulders. Could never guess why. Oh, he's redeemed himself, okay? He's been through a very good redemption arc that I'm very happy with. Come on. Give him this. Give him this. Oh, my God. Level 9 medicine. Tide Bubble Gamer, burning passion for medical. Wrap it up there. I, I I cannot do any better today. This has ended on an incredible high note. My God, am I happy with that ending. We finally found the use for Tide Bubble in the colony, and that is to be the doctor that we are. What happened to the cat? The cat. The drunk cat just got eaten by an iguana. <laughs> I mean, other than the cat being eaten by, uh, by the lizards, this has been a fantastic day. This has been Mr. Cringe's day, a real return to form for him. 
with his beauty and, and the brain assistance going on. That, again, not undoing the damage, but helping him. Helping him adjust to the damage. He's almost back to full form. You know, his, his negotiation skills might be incredible now. And not to mention, Bucko's got his birthday present lined up. I was going to say the many, many days to actually source one of those, which is fair enough. I mean, it's a, it's a healer mech serum after all. Face is looking superb. Look at the marketplace. It is absolutely bustling. It is absolutely bustling. Please, by all means, join us. Trade. Trade and join us and be merry. As long as you are an enemy of the Queensman, you are a friend of Bucko Drink. Look at this place. We've got fabricating. The limbs are restored. All the colonists are, are a massive improvement. It's been great. I've had a great time today. This has been truly fantastic, and I hope you've had a great time too. Thank you for joining me here today in uh, a, 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 a great amount of progression here in Rimrim. Very happy to see it. A big thank you to Todd Howard. Heathen, Master of Worlds 22, Bling Magica, Bryce, Justin Mitchell, Jared, Overly Confident, Confidently Incorrect Person, HBit Grizzly, Abby Orna, Nighthawk 18, Miranda the Mighty, Variants, Lucrative, Suka... Suka Puka Punk. <laughs> Doesn't count because I've been awake for like 24 hours. Creepy Uncle Dave, Felpy, Bear King, Fat TX, Goatman Gaz, Joris's Baby Daddy, Slighter, David Turner, Toxin, Frozen Jesus, and Sam for their support of the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed uh, an, an incredible amount of uh, progress today. Very happy. Uh, um, character progress is what I'm talking about. The base, you're sure it's being built. It looks lovely, whatever. But th what I really care about ultimately is the crew of the ship. Thank you as well to Tim Hill, Mediocre Jake, Attila, Bougie, Bongwater, Simply Nikki 24, Sam Kears, Toasty, Buns, Bucky, Arson, D'Argent, Mr. Yeti, and everyone else as well. Goodbye. I am going to edit this video and then sleep for a thousand years. But perhaps I could be awoken with a little kiss. <laughs>